This exercise is called counting knobs. We will be using the yellow bricks. Only this time we flip them. So put the face down or the back side up. And now we'll be asking, let's mix them. And now we'll be asking the child to find a specific bricks. So let's say we say, please find number two. So the child cannot really find number two except looking at these counting knobs because all the bricks are identical when facing downwards. So let's say the child picks this one. The child would have to pick this one and count the two knobs one, two. Let's see. And indeed, that is number two. So let's continue this way. We could ask where is number four and the child will start looking and eventually may find this one. Let's see. Start counting the knobs. One, two, three, four. And indeed, it is number four. So in this exercise, what we did was we associated the value to a symbol. So we mentioned the name of a brick, two, and the child had to find the corresponding value, the two counting knobs. Now, if we recall the two previous exercises, what we've done now is combining three things. First of all, the symbol or the digit is associated to it in its name or the sound. And finally, we associate that to the value. So combining these three things, we have the basics in place. Now let's move on to the next exercises.